a baby buried. And that's not the most troubling part. Somebody goes and attempts to disturb the baby's grave. There is, this is uh, from beginning to end. From A to Z, it is a parade of horrors for this infant. You know, it's a rather troubling chain of events. Uh, Dearborn Heights mother charged with manslaughter in the death of her baby. Child goes unclaimed for years at the county morgue. Then the community holds a special send off, but that's not the end of it. Defender Kevin Dietz here with the horrific crime committed after the baby was laid to rest. What started as an emotional send off for an infant who died too young turned into a crime scene as someone came back to the cemetery in the dark of night to dig up the casket. Baby Mario Alasadi died much too soon, suffocating while unattended in this Allen Park motel. Charges against his father were dismissed, but baby Mario's mother, Terry Lynn Othwaite Juliet, pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter and child abuse. No one ever came to the Wayne County morgue to pick up the tiny body for burial. After three years on a shelf in the morgue freezer, some good people from the community decided to throw a glorious send-off for baby Mario. Today we brought to rest uh, Mario Alasadi, who was a young boy uh, killed um, on January the 15th of 2013. This is an incredible circle of care. This ceremony would also be a learning lesson that all deaths should end in dignity to several mortuary students who came on March 23rd to the beautiful Our Lady of Hope Cemetery in Brownstown Township. I believe that spirits live and that Mario's watching. And so may he learn from the people that are on earth that there's love and we care. It is a privilege, a heartbreaking privilege to be here. Mario was surrounded by love and hope from dozens of strangers who care. Kelly Lehman, I claim you, Mario. Mark Evely, I claim you, Mario. Mario, you've been claimed. We send you up with love. No one should go unclaimed, especially a child. And to think that we were here to be able to claim him just made me feel whole and made me feel like I could do something for him. For the future of our children, keep the circle whole. A baby Mario had no one else, and it is the least we could do, but also the only thing we could do for him. This would have been the end of a nice story about a good deed. So hopefully there'll be somebody that comes forward that wants to visit his grave and pray for him and pray to him. But hours later, in the dark of night, someone would come back, sneak into the cemetery with shovels and dig up baby Mario's casket. Local Ford legal expert, Neil Rockein. And then when the baby is finally laid to rest, somebody goes and attempts to disturb the baby's grave. There is, this is uh, from beginning to end. From A to Z, it is a parade of horrors. <laughs> The casket was pulled out of the ground. Mud was scraped off it. Police suspect whomever did this tried to open the casket but were unable to get inside. The casket was left on the grass next to the empty hole. Was it someone looking to say goodbye who was not at the funeral? Was it a grave robber looking for valuables buried with the baby? Or was it kids playing a horrific prank? Police asked to look at our raw video for clues but found none. They say the parents have been cleared and there are no known suspects at this time. Disturbing baby Mario's gravesite is more than a terrible thing to do. It's a serious crime. In Michigan, any attempt to uh, what we call disinter a body that's buried is a 10-year felony. Police are hoping you can help. Remember, this happened the night of March 23rd or the early morning hours of March 24th at Our Lady of Hope Cemetery in Brownstown Township. Maybe somebody bragged about it or maybe someone felt bad and mentioned it. Police want to hear from you if you know anything about the disturbance of baby Mario's casket. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.